My next step is to move to my Cricut and using the tags, bags, of boxes, and more cartridge, I'm going to cut out all of the tags for my little makeup guide. So um, I'm going to need a uh, front piece with the window, the acrylic piece, um, a back piece that I'm going to face forward, and then also a back piece that we would use to cover this because once you put the brads in, um, they kind of get caught on the other brads and it would just be a little more seamless if you had a back piece also. So for this, um, I have chosen the tag that's on page 91 of your booklet, and it's actually the one that has the hole option. So it's the scallop top H with the hole. And I'm going to be cutting a couple different shapes, um, one with the window as well, and that is cut out of um, this dot paper. And this polka dot paper, everything that I'm using today is basic gray, love basic gray paper. Um, so you can probably find that at your local scrapbooking store. Um, and the size actually that I used when I was designing this was um, three and seven eighths, but I used a Cricut, the Cricut Design Studio. So we're gonna go with four inches um, height, and then um, I'm gonna need a six by six piece of acrylic then. We've got smaller pieces of acrylic, but they're only four by four, and it's just cutting it too close, I feel. So um, let's, cut out our our shapes and as usual I'm a big time saver so um, for those of you that are just using your um, keypad and on the Cricut I, you can load your mat which is a 12 by 12 mat with two different kinds of paper now you might notice that this looks a diff little different from a regular 12 by 12 mat well that's because here at custom crops we cut our 12 by 24 mats in half um, it's a little bit less expensive in terms of, of your mat purchasing, so you may want to consider that um, as an option. And then we just load it from, um, this is where it usually hangs, there's no arrow, but this is, I think this would be the, the bottom side of your 12 by 24 mat. We just load them like this. So I'm going to go ahead and load my paper. Um, my blade depth is set at 6, my speed is medium and my pressure is on high. That's usually what I use in order to cut just regular scrapbooking paper. So um, for the polka dot paper, we are going to be using the window option. So we're going to want to select the um, shift key, or the, I'm sorry, the hole option, that's where the shift key usually is, hole option. And then we want also to select the window, which is up here in your left-hand corner, first row. And then we want to select the scalloped tag, which is all the way over your last column, the first row. And there's my little image. And my size is at four inches height. So, um, I'm all set to go, and I actually think I might turn my multi-cut on twice. And let me check to see what that is. Whoops. Multi-cut is on too, so that looks good to me. And, okay, I'm all set to go. Okay, we're done cutting out the first shape, and so I'm gonna use my arrow up key and just move back to almost my starting point again. But I wanna be on my next colored paper. So I'm just gonna use my arrow to the left and move it all the way down till I'm on my second color paper. Okay, so now I'm going to be cutting out the um, shape without the window. So I want to deselect the window. My hole option is on because I still want the hole. And I'm going to hit the scalloped tag again. And my multi cut is on, and that's it. I'm just going to press cut. We're, we're like shooting above. And so I'm done cutting that first shape, but I want to cut it again because not only do I need uh, the front facing page, but I also need 
the piece to cover the back once I punch my brads in. So I'm just going to um, repeat last. And the same shape comes up and then I just push uh, cut again. Okay, so um, all done and I'm just gonna unload my paper. And peel this paper off. And my shapes are all nicely cut out. So there are all my paper pieces, but I'm not quite done yet. I do need to cut my acrylic. And actually for this, <clears throat> I'm gonna be cutting the same shape, but I want to change my blade. <clears throat> I'm gonna be using my deep cut blade. Um, my blade depth, I'm gonna set at six, because I'm going to be cutting my acrylic. And um, I'm going to be setting my pressure at maximum. And I want to also set my multi-cut setting at four. Okay, so I'm going to remove this plastic protective coating. You can leave it on if you want. I've done it both ways. I'm just going to peel it off. Uh, and then I'm going to just place my acrylic down on my Cricut mat. And you probably should use a fairly new mat so that it sticks. Okay. And then um, I'm going to load my mat in. Now this, using the um, deep cut blade and using the max pressure, um, it's going to, and the, the four times, it's going to almost get it through. Um, it's not quite perfect. Basically what I'm going to do after it's, the Cricut is done is just create a little cut with my Tim Holtz scissors and then when I pull at the acrylic it just gives it a really nice separation and you'll see what I mean as soon as I'm done cutting. So um, same size, four inch. We want the whole option and we want our scalp tag which is up here at the top. and I'm just going to press cut, and it will cut it four times. We're going to be using um, that paper that we created with the Heidi Swap Invisibles. And I'm just going to do the same thing, load it on my Cricut mat. and press it down. You, again, you should probably be using a fairly new mat. If you've got trouble with it sticking, you can always use a little packaging tape to hold your edges down. And then I'm going to kind of scroll past the point at which the tape, the packaging tape is at here. Okay. And then I'm going to, uh, I've got my multi cut on, that's at four. We're looking for our same shape again, whole option, scalp tag. And uh, we're ready to cut. Our Cricut has cut out our tag design here on our paper and um, just given it a kiss cut. So I'm just going to go around it with my tonic craft knife um, and just can continue to, to punch it out. And we're ready to move on to our next step, which is uh, using our crocodile and, and doing a little assembly. <laughs> 